All right, guys, welcome to part two, uh, part two of episode two, The Pact. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are at the stacked deck. Deck. Batman. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, it's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge... Colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh. Say that to my face. <laughs> Come on, I will. Well, I'll say what I want. John says this is a safe space. Bruce! Uh, uh don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Bottles under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. Really? These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Bruce? Really? <sighs> I gotta say, I'm disappointed. Wasn't sure I could trust you, John. You were more than a little erratic at the funeral, and, and it was important to me that I find the Riddler. And, you know, you were my only lead. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. It's rude duplicitous and invasion of my privacy like but it makes sense What's a good smile? so that know-it-all really got what was coming to him Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! 
<laughs> and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. And I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? The bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. Get out of here. <laughs> So happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Pretty good reason. Oh. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Never. And I mean, never do that again. Oh, Brucey, I was just having fun. Don't you like fun? Well, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Puddin here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. <laughs> excitement? The man who's got everything's looking for some new toys? Well, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and give me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself. What's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. I feel bad for him, you know? Coming out of Arkham all alone. He's not equipped to deal with the world. It's true. Poor old Puddin don't know a fiesta from a funeral. But there's a world full of charity cases out there. And you pick John. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? We were talking about you, Pud. About how worried we are for your well-being. Oh? Bruce feels bad for you. For, you know, having such a hard time with life. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. That's the old me, Bruce. The new me you won't have to feel <laughs> sorry for. I'd like to see that. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. Yeah, that's why and you're getting... just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. 
I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's in okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> is everything okay? Well, no risk for the weary. Uh, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. This is Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It... Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator... <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. Oh, screw <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. So, well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? 
you worker bees just mouth off whenever they want? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do. Remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Uh, I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those Batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? I'm really not going to like that at all. Or you. Hardly, I'm sorry. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. Put 
Right. Getting there. Prince should do it. There we go. Okay, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Oh, shut up, Lord Looking for this? Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This? This is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the then guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You get me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Yeah, I hope so too. It's 
took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Oh, imagination. Over you boys did good, you know. Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. All right, guys. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye-bye.